so uh, just a couple hours before our first shift, uh, we're heading to a restaurant just to meet with the, the team of Pi. And after that, just rock and roll out here. Yeah, let's do it, guys. Come on. Prepare those, and then just washing the, the liquid with the milk, and then turns out to turns out the flavor very smooth. Right. So, so this is a processor of uh, clarified uh, milk punch. So this is my own version. Pour slowly the milk. If you agitate it, you'll mess up with the flavor. No, no, you'll mess up with the clarification. Oh. Will, the, the milk will combine to the liquid. And if you want to stir it, so that you uh, make an interaction with the Make sure you steer it very slowly. Alright. Yes. And then, if, if you de don't see this curling process, uh -huh. it will be a mess. Oh. So you don't win pull the ring. Alright. Like an egg soup? Yeah, <laughs> like an egg soup. Oh, nice. Oh. So finally, tonight is the night for Mark and Ralph to do their guest shift in Malaysia. All right, so please introduce a bit on your drinks. All right, what sure. Up tonight. Uh, so we have four drinks, uh, two set up by me, two set up by Ralph. Mm -hmm. uh, Ralph's drink is going to be the Carolina. It's a twist on the uh, Paloma, but we're going to be adding some guava, basically some tropical flavors to just spice up the Paloma in general. Next uh, is going to be the peach mango pie. We actually got inspired by the Jollibee dessert that you can find at any Jollibee called the peach mango pie. Yeah, I tried it before. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. But what we decided to do this time is we used the bourbon and then we wanted to milk fat uh, milk wash it. So though we use milk, it's going to come out crystal clear and of course super delicious as well. Yeah. And then the other two drinks by me, we have the Beagle Speedster, uh, the drink that I used for the Manon Cup. Uh, it's essentially based off the Beagle Express that uses coconut milk. Uh, so it's going to add that creamy texture but we also use some spices uh, in a Monon fusion. Using hab uh, habanero lime, uh, we infused it with some black pepper and bird's eye chili. But after that, we also fat washed it as well to add a nice silky texture to the drink. That was a good kick, yeah? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And then, of course, the last drink, something I made specifically for this uh, bar tour of sorts, is the chocolate-covered redhead. Uh, using naked malt as well as ginger, those two flavors complement well together and then we also add a bit of chocolate bitters and some grated dark chocolate on top to just have that uh, how I should say ride the flavor wave along with the ginger too all right thank you yeah thanks for the introduction and also we would like to shout out for Pahit for hosting our night shift for Mark and Ralph tonight all right so you want to show them inside yeah let's go let's go
Hi, Mark from the Spirits Library here again. We're going to be doing uh, our second shift here today at the vault. We're going to be doing the same drinks as we did at Pahit, but it's going to be a bit of a change of pace. Uh, it's a more high volume cocktail bar, and we're super excited to see how things go for tonight. All right, let's go. Tonight, uh, we're gonna have a shift here tonight by Mark and Rob. 